You've made me the happiest man in the world. Emily, <laughs> will you marry me? How sweet. You like it, so you're putting a ring on it. But have you ever wondered why we put diamond rings on things we like at all? Oh God, you're gonna tell us the awful truth about engagement rings, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Hi, I'm Adam Conover. Hey, Adam. And you may think of the diamond engagement ring as a timeless symbol of love, but it turns out this ancient tradition was invented less than a century ago by the De Beers Diamond Corporation. Before the 1930s, nobody exchanged diamond rings when they got engaged. It wasn't a thing. Apple, what do you say we get married? Oh, that's a swell idea, Frank. What do you give me? Well, I got the shiny red apple. Sold. Oh, I love you, Frank. <laughs> But in 1938, the De Beers Diamond Cartel launched a massive ad campaign, claiming that the only way for a real man to show his love is with an expensive hunk of crystallized carbon. And we bought that shit. Now, hold on. Looks like if I don't buy you one of these ring dealies, then I'm a tiny peck of pencil neck. Well, it's on the side of a building, so it's gotta be true. Well, crumbs. In fact, every element of the traditional American engagement was designed to make more money for De Beers. How much you drop on that rock? I don't know, like... Four grand. <gasps> Jesus, Louise, that's more than your car. My dad said the rule was two months' salary. Yeah, sorry, dude. That's not a rule. That's just an arbitrary number from an old De Beers ad campaign. Buy her a diamond worth one month's salary. She'll be sure to love you eternally. Ah, profits are down. Better make it two months. This has got to be the most successful ad campaign of all time. This is like if in 50 years people were going, Oh, honey, the same thing again? Yeah, you know that old rule, pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you must eat pizza all the time. Well, it's not like I'm throwing my money away. I mean, <laughs> at least the ring is worth something. Yeah. Actually, uh, diamonds are intrinsically worthless. I refuse to believe that. Well, maybe you believe De Beers chairman Nicky Oppenheimer, who once said, quote, Diamonds are intrinsically worthless. Shut up, shut up, shut up. In fact, they're quite common. The only reason diamonds are even expensive is that De Beers has a global monopoly on diamond mining and they artificially restrict the supply to jack the prices up. But in reality, those assholes have a fuck ton of them. These are extremely rare. Pay no attention to that. Which means that diamond you just blew your savings on has virtually no resale value. That's why De Beers wants you to think a diamond is forever. If you never try to sell it, you'll never figure out how badly you got fucked. Fine, so what do we do about it? Nothing. They've got us by the balls. A century of advertising has embedded the idea of a diamond engagement ring so deeply in our culture that even knowing all that doesn't get you out of buying an engagement ring. Seriously, give it a shot. Okay. Emily, will you marry me? I'm not giving you a ring because the concept of an engagement ring is a scam on the part of the De Beers Corporation. But we could open a joint checking account? Sorry, dude. I want that rock. Fuck! Well, thanks, man. No problem. Join me next time on Adam Ruins Life's Greatest Pleasures when I'll be talking about how puppies only pretend to love you in order to mooch off your food supply. Who hurt you? Hey there, if you like that video, click to subscribe. Where are you going? These are it's it's a scam, man. Come on, come I know, on. they're fake. Why are you taking them? I thought we were still in the video. No, it's done. It's over. Just please click. Hope you liked it. Where are you going? Don't, please. Don't.